Hi, my name is Rebecca Nash. I am a pianist and I currently live here in Birmingham. So I think initially uh, I was very lucky to be born with two fantastically musical parents. My mum is a singer and my dad is a classical viola player so right from the word go we just had music in the house, chamber music and my mum was and still is singing permanently every day. I was not lucky enough to have uh, a local ensemble like Jazz Lines, unfortunately. Um, but I did take some jazz lessons from my uncle, who just, he knew um, a lot about the harmony. So that was amazing. And um, I used to play in the school orchestra, but that was it. Yeah, so um, right up until the age of 18, I had classical lessons with a wonderful woman called Kate Miller. But I think I was a bit of a pain because I used to try and reharmonize pretty much everything that I played and I'd destroy a piece of Mozart uh, by adding ridiculous notes in at the end of chords, um, at the end of pieces. So uh, I think she was quite relieved when I told her that I wanted to go study jazz because I think probably everything made a bit more sense then. Um, I didn't really have a specific approach to every single piece. Um, sometimes I'll just write from an angle of a melody and then maybe add the time signatures in afterwards. Uh, and But sometimes I just like a really strong groove and so I'll base a piece of music around that. Um, well, all of my piano teachers obviously. Uh, and then, so key sort of piano players for me are John Taylor, he's a massive, uh, massive influence on me. Um, Herbie Hancock, I absolutely love. Um, actually, probably the first album that I was given uh, was, I can't even remember who gave it to me, but it was an album by Lyle Mays, and it was his own album uh, called Highland Air which um, it can t probably sparked off my obsession with synths and it's just that kind of big epic sound and um, I would say that and Kind of Blue, they were the first albums that really got me into jazz and then it was a kind of process of discovering other piano players, um, Aaron Parks, I absolutely love Aaron Parks um, and well loads of musicians obviously. Um, there's obviously so many, but just albums that spring to mind are um, I Love Word of Mouth by Jack of Stories. That's I think is an amazing album. Um, there's a John Taylor solo album which not many people know about called Insight. I don't even know if you can buy it, so if you can get hold of it, you're really lucky. Um, and uh, final album maybe. Both Sides Now by Joni Mitchell, massive orchestral album arranged by Vince Mendoza, it's really beautiful. Yeah. So um, my band is called Atlas and it features uh, the fantastic Nick Malcolm on trumpet and uh, Chris Mapp on bass and electronics and Matt Fisher who plays drums and percussion and we are looking forward to recording our album later this year um, and hopefully that is also going to feature some really exciting special guests. So we've got some really nice dates in the diary, one of which will be happening here in Symphony Hall in a few weeks. Um, so yeah. I'd, I'd just say the main thing is if you're feeling shy, don't be put off, don't hold back. Uh, there's just so many amazingly vibrant and wonderful jazz musicians waiting for you to play with and it can be a little bit of a daunting scene to get into but I would say always persevere and go for it.